Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Reeves gouache set. I'm going to be painting little goldfishes that have been my recent obsession. I've been sketching them and today I wanted to see if I can paint them with some gouache. So I went down to my local Michaels and I found this 18 piece Reeves gouache set. They also had, I believe, a 10 piece, but I wanted to get as many colors as possible. The retail price for this was about $14.99, but with a coupon, I was able to bring it down to $10. Looking at all the colors, I was able to see that they had a pretty good selection. I have a Stillman & Burn watercolor sketchbook that I will be using today. I have my Prismacolor uh, 4H pencil that I am using to sketch out the three goldfishes. Um, in my sketchbook, I have them drawn in Colerase, Prismacolerase pencils, but I found in past attempts with other gouache brands that, even in acrylic and oil paintings as well, that the Prismacolor Colerase do tend to mix with the paints and I don't really like that especially since some of them are pink and if you're using different colors they tend to muddy up especially with white paints it comes out as hot pink so I wanted to make sure that the paint wouldn't mix with any of the pencil drawing which is why I use the 4H. So all three of the fishes I either got from Google or Pinterest and I had sketched them out in my usual sketchbook which is just a regular Cotton's Wood art sketchbook that I got at a convention. A regular white plate it's a small one that I picked up at the Dollar Tree really easy to pick up the colors that I picked up were a burnt sienna a lot of white this fleshy pink color a bright red an orange and then a deep yellow I also had an assortment of different types of brushes from my favorite number eight brush a number six brush and then some travel brushes as well as a script brush which is just really long uh, brush that's really good for making lines <music> I did a initial layer of really thinned out gouache, almost like watercolor, just to have a base of kind of where I wanted everything to go. I was going for a more graphic look rather than realistic. And I had actually a pretty okay time with these. Um, I was expecting them to be really patchy when making layers. If you've ever worked with gouache, then you know that you have to try and make even layers and sometimes with cheaper gouache it can end up really streaky or patchy and as I started to build the layers I was worried that I will experience some of this patchiness but surprisingly I didn't which I thought was amazing. Um, I do own Windsor Newton gouache and some Holbein gouache but because those gouaches are pretty pricey for comparison, um, like I said, I got this set for $10 for 18 tubes, whereas a Windsor Newton professional gouache tube by itself is about $11 at Michael's. 
Um, the Holbein ones can usually, they usually range depending on the color. Certain colors are more expensive than others, but they're pricier compared to the Windsor & Newton gouache. So I did want to try a cheaper alternative that I can use in my sketchbook and to practice with and to get better at gouache instead of using my expensive gouache that I can use for commissions or for final pieces. So with the fish that has the giant red thing on its head that looks kind of like, I don't even know what it looks like, but um, out of all the fishes that I worked on today, that one was probably my least favorite, but that was more of a design fault, fault rather than a painting mistake, I believe. Um, I just think I shaded it and highlighted it in a way to make it look really bumpy rather than just slightly textured it kind of looks it's like a weird pimple on its head but i've been obsessing over cold fishes for some very odd reason um i just like i think they're cute especially the ones that have like the ginormous eyes on the side of the head those are my favorite out of the three my favorite ended up being the one the orange one i thought that that one looked super cute and kind of had the style that i was going for um, not very blended, more graphic and flat washes of color rather than blending and shading. Um, if you've ever worked with gouache, then you know that as you layer, there is a chance of reactivating the layer underneath. And instead of adding paint, it kind of ends up taking away paint. Um, I get that a lot with my Windsor Noon. If I put too thick of a layer, um, as my base layer and then add another layer I end up reactivating the layer underneath um, because gouache does reactivate it's one of the many reasons that people like using it so I do recommend using light washes kind of like watercolor at first and then work your way to a thicker thicker layer because if not it will end up just being a muddy mess but for the most part I actually really like the Reeves gouache for the little fish drawing I did in my sketchbook um, depending on what you want to use this gouache for will determine if you like it or not um, I haven't tried it in more of a blending style like realistic or landscapes before this kind of fun graphic almost sticker like style I absolutely loved it um, I will be using it again to kind of play around in my sketchbook and then um, hopefully I can get some techniques down so when it's time to switch over to more professional gouache I feel more confident in them. that's basically all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching me paint these little fishies. I hope you guys um, try out the Reeves squash. They're really cheap and if you're a beginner artist that wants to switch over to a different medium, I highly recommend them. I have not tried any of the other Reeves paints. I know they sell oil, watercolor, and acrylics. If you guys want to see me review those because I do have professional um, oils, professional acrylics, and watercolors. Um, I can see if those are a really good fit for those that want to start out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!